how to undelete a folder in Ubuntu. So without time wasting, let's get started. How to undelete a folder from GUI. For this, at first, I will remove a folder and move it to trash. Then from trash, I will restore that remove folder. Here, I have a folder named project. At first, right click on the folder. From the menu, select move to trash. This folder has been moved to trash. Now, click on the trash. Here, we can see our moved folder named project. From here, click or right click on that folder. From the options, click on restore from trash. We cannot see that project folder on trash. Minimize this trash window. Here, we can see the project folder. So, we can easily move a directory to trash and restore that directory from trash easily using graphical user interface or GUI. If your Ubuntu is installed in VMware VirtualBox and you remove any folder using the rm command, then you cannot undelete that folder using any command. To avoid this kind of situation, I will provide you some tips and tricks so that you can easily restore or undelete that deleted folder. If you remove any file or folder using rm command, then you cannot restore that file or folder at any way. To overcome this situation, you can move that file or folder through the tra trash list, then you can easily restore that file or folder from the trash list. Here I will do so. At first, open the Ubuntu terminal. Now I will print all the files or and folders inside the current directory. For this, type ls then space then dash l. Then press the enter button. Here we can see that we have a folder named folder1 on the current directory. Now I will move that folder1 folder to the trash list. For this, type trash then space then dash d space then the folder name then press the enter button now i will check the trash list whether the folder one folder exists here or not for this type trash dash list then press enter we can see that here the folder one exist on trash list. Now I will restore that folder one from the trash list to our original location. For this type trash dash restore space I have to give the absolute path of that folder on trash list which is this for our slash home for slash smith for slash desktop for slash folder one then press the enter button to confirm type zero then press enter now to check whether we can or we successful to restore that folder one folder from the trash list print the all folders and files of the current directory. For this, type ls, then space, then dash l, then press enter. We can see that folder1 folder is here. That means we can successfully restore that deleted folder1. To avoid unwanted deletion 
of any folder or file you can use interactive prompt here i will define a alias named rm which will open interactive prompt when i will use rm command at first open the ubuntu terminal now open the dot bash rc file located on the root directory typing nano space absolute path of the dot bash rc file then press the enter button this is the bash rc file at the end of this file i will insert a line alias space rm equals to rm space dash i this rm alias will communicate with rm space dash i command while i will use rm command now save the file pressing control s then exit the file pressing control x now i will communicate this change with the ubuntu for this type source space the absolute directory of this bash rc file now press the enter button now i will print the current files or folders of the current directory for this type ls then space then dash l then press the enter button here we can see that we have a file named linux.txt now i will remove the linux.txt file using rm space linux.txt file here this rm will call the rm alias which will eventually call rm space dash i command now press the enter button here we can see that it is opening a interactive prompt asking removing regular directory linux.txt now i will press y then press the enter now to check whether the linux.txt file has been deleted or not print the directories and linux of the current directories typing ls then space then dash l then press the enter button here we can see that there is no file named linux.txt that means we have successfully removed that linux.txt file interactively 